Now, it's not just the Obama administration, but it's international bankers who are getting into the act, who are working geopolitically, as well as doing some very fishy things with currency controls and with gold. We've asked if we could have an audit of the Federal Reserve. Maybe we should ask if we can audit Fort Knox as well. And a Kurt Nemo story on InfoWars today it says, since the end of the 18th century, Ukraine formed an important part of the Russian and Soviet state, and the Russian Black Sea Fleet is located in the Crimea as a port that's leased to Russia by the Ukraine. So both the U.S. and the EU have an interest in weakening Russia. While the leaders of the resistance may be taking money from George Soros, do you really believe that the common people on the ground understand what's going on? They're very upset because of the genocide that Stalin committed against that region, what was called the Holomador. And that's something that the fellow who coined the term genocide pointed out. And it's interesting to look at that. That's what's galvanizing the people on the street. And there were four prongs to that attack. They cut off the political leadership. They co-opted the churches, said you're going to come along with the Russian Soviet line or you're going to be shut down. They then pulled in massive immigration, which in that case were other Russians, so that they could create competing groups, so they could get people who were going to support the government. And then they starved them to death in massive numbers. And it's interesting that we see similar parallels, don't we, to today in America. We see that they're bringing in massive immigration, which will balkanize the United States, people who will support their socialist agenda as well as co-opting the churches, as well as coming out our food supply. But there's other things that the banksters are doing. And this is interesting that we had a hoax that got a lot of people panicked for a brief period of time. And Paul Joseph Watson's story says, China cash transfer hoax plays into bank run fears. He said, there was an article by Forbes' Gordon Chang, now deleted, that claimed that the People's Bank of China, the central bank, has just ordered commercial banks to halt cash transfers. Now, of course, that got people's attention because just the previous day, they had seen HSBC hold back deposits from people, saying, you can't have that money. Because it's not just rumors of currency control and the example that we saw the day before with HSBC, but they're concerned about a major gold scandal. This is something that's been reported by Washington's blog as well as Zero Hedge. We've been picking up their stories and running them in Infowars. This article from Washington's blog today says there's a major gold scandal going mainstream, and they say that, after all, nobody knows whether there's really 260 million ounces of gold in Fort Knox because the U.S. government won't let auditors inside. And, of course, we, we reported just last week that the German bank has been trying for a year to get their gold from the U.S. Federal Reserve, and they've simply refused to supply it. And over the last year, this is an article from the 20th, that was from Zero Hedge, and they said over the last year they've only gotten 37 tons out of 674 that the German bank has on storage with the Federal Reserve. And the U.S. has only supplied five of those 37 tons. Most of it has come from France. Now, of course, that's only 0.7% of the gold that Germany is asking for has been supplied. So the question is, is the gold there? If a federal bank, if a central bank, can refuse to give money to another central bank. Do you think that they're really going to give you your fiat currency when you ask for it from the bank? That's exactly what we saw this weekend in the story about HSBC that I referred to. And that's one of the things that resonated with people when they saw this initial report about currency controls in China. People know that it's coming. We've seen this happen several times in banks. And now this most recent one just happened over the weekend. Bank run fears continue. HSBC restricts large cash withdrawals. This is from Zero Hedge. This came out of England, and we had listeners telling Radio 4's Money Box that they were stopped from withdrawing amounts that ranged from 5,000 pounds to 10,000 pounds. When they came in, of course, they had the money in their account. They didn't deny that they had the money. They said when we presented them with a withdrawal slip, they declined to give us some money because we couldn't provide them with a satisfactory explanation for what the money was for. They wanted a letter from the person involved. Why should you have to give them a letter to get your money out? Why should the German bank have to wait for eight years to get their gold out? What are they doing? If they're not going to give the gold to a German central bank, they're not going to give you your fiat currency when push comes to shove.
Symbols are powerful and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty.